This may be hard to admit, but COVID-19 and the quarantining that comes with it is having a major impact on mental health. Calls to a local crisis hotline are up double digits. News 4's Kim St. Ange is live tonight explaining to us who's at the highest risk. Well, as you know, we're all stuck at home, right? And outside of our pets, we're really not getting much interaction, which can be yeah, very yeah. isolating and stressful. Tonight, local health experts are warning a very specific group of people is at a higher risk of developing a mental illness, which is a story that hits pretty close to home for me. Michelle Lawler is due in August with twin girls and also happens to be my sister. I get something called hyperemesis gravidarum. It's a really severe debilitating form of nausea and vomiting that occurs in pregnancy. And it's kind of like morning sickness, all day sickness on steroids. She's been on an IV and bed bound since December. Just as she was finally starting to feel well enough to leave home, COVID-19 hit. Could be a long isolation time for me. Psychologists with St. Louis Behavioral Medicine Institute say expectant and new moms are more likely to experience postpartum depression because of coronavirus, mostly because of being so isolated. The impact goes far beyond moms. We care, we listen, we respond 24 hours a day. Holly Nemec is with Behavioral Health Response, which operates a crisis hotline in St. Louis City and nine surrounding counties. She says their calls have gone up about 14% since mid-March. The majority are related to COVID-19. A lot of anxiety, a lot of people concerned about work, whether or not they're going to have a paycheck, whether or not they're going to be able to pay their bills. In Illinois, Governor J.B. Pritzker recently launched a free COVID-19 text line, Call for Calm, to connect residents with a local counselor. In just the first week, Call for Calm received over 1,200 texts from across the state. Psychologists say the most important thing, don't be afraid to ask for help. Definitely ask and talk about it, don't just hide it. Because it, it sometimes doesn't get better on its own and it's something that there's things that can help. There are so many different organizations in Illinois and in Missouri that are offering assistance counseling for free. We went ahead and listed some of those organizations on our News 4 app. Live in St. Louis, Kim St. Ange, News 4.